What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Uh, when we left off, we had finished off the barracks over here. Um, man, my game is getting so framey. Uh, so I did a little bit of work off camera, mostly because it really just didn't matter that much. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I finished the underground room. Um, I played around a bit with the dynamic mechanics. As you can see, I've got, like, lumber just laying around. Uh, some of the... This was all done in grid mode. This was grid mode. That was dynamic. Uh, that was dynamic. This was grid. That was dynamic. And the rest of all this was dynamic mode. Except for the torches or fire... Fire buckets. Um, so yeah, I just kind of went through and was like... Uh, let's mix this up, do some random crap. Here's some pallets, here's some lumber, uh, corner lumber, barrels, you know, just throwing different random crap around, playing around with the dynamic mode. Looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. I kind of like it. Uh, I am gonna try and turn these off, though, now that you've seen it, so that the rest of my game doesn't get all laggy. Um, it probably is gonna get laggy anyway, but, you know... Every little bit helps. Right there. It was really framey. Um, so today we're not actually going to work on this because it's already done. I didn't show it, I know, and I've shown everything else. I apologize for that, but this was episode 20, or part 20. I really kind of just wanted to finish on 20. It was a good number, good solid finishing number. Um, so I wanted to work on the exterior and the king statue, and that should... Should be it. We're going to do the king statue first, just because um, if we don't get done with the exterior, it's not the end of the world. Uh, whereas I'd kind of like to do a king fountain thing. So let's get rid of that bed. Not that block. The bed. Oi. Okay. Now make sure we want him facing this way. So let's place that there. Now what I want to do... We don't have water, otherwise I would make a fountain. Uh, but what I'd like to do... Is maybe use these. Maybe. Oh, this is going to be weird. I'd have to go all the way out there? What if I did this? Why do I have ten frames right now? Um... Well, nuts. If I did this, it would be there. If I did this one... Yeah, that would just be weird. So let's see what this looks like. If we do it this way. I didn't really want to do it like this. This was actually a lot bigger of a circle than I wanted to make, but I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Uh, I suppose we could move it back a hair. Like this, maybe. Um, let's put... Like this. I don't know what's causing these little lag spikes. It's kind of annoying. Probably everything I just did under the ground there, all that dynamic stuff, has probably eaten my frames up. So, the idea here is that this should be like a fountain. I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, but that's the idea. It's supposed to be a fountain. So just imagine water. You know. Um, flowing around the king statue. I think that's pretty cool. I think that works. Simple, I know. But, ooh, what we could do is put these guys right here. Why do I do that, you ask? Because they have added a night cycle mode. They haven't added an actual cycle to it, from what I understand. Um, to where it actually goes from day to night, and so so on and so forth. Um, but, since we can't make a fountain out of it... That's off? Of course it's off. So, like this. I think this one's off, too. I 
think. I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. That looks in line. That looks in line. And that looks in line and that... Okay, good. So at night, this would look really cool. Actually, isn't there a way to cycle that game? Compress... Where is it? Graphic... There's supposed to be a way to cycle it now. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Bots? No, that's the barbarian guys. I don't know. Anyways, if you do this, I'm sure this would look pretty cool at night, though. That would look kind of awesome. Um, but we're going to turn these off again for framey purposes. Okay. So we got the King Fountain kind of done, or sort of fountain. I guess it's more of a memorial or something. So now the last part is to finish what I think would be the exterior, which is this section. So what we want to do, we discussed in the last time we looked at this, uh, we discussed extending this by, let's see... Oh, no, that's kind of cool. I, I did an accidental staircase without realizing it. Huh? What do you know? Um, I don't think I could do another... I could do another block, but I'm afraid that it would actually, like... The drawbridge part would land on it. Maybe. I don't know. Tell you what. Give me just a second. Okay, so I added one row. I went ahead and saved the game. Added one row to the... Okay, that's framey right there. Great. Lovely. Don't know why. Seriously, it's so odd that what decides to be frame rate intensive and what doesn't. It's like looking at the wheel here makes it drop to like 15. But when you look off in the distance, now it's 20. And when you... Oh, I don't know what is happening right now. Whatever. Let's see if this is working. Is it working? Why is everything so frame intensive from all of a sudden just putting down like 10 blocks? I don't understand. Okay, now... Did that get stuck? Looks like it got stuck. It did. Look at my frames, though. I'm running at 10 frames. And I don't know why. All I did was add a single block to this row. That's all I did. Let's see what taking away a block will do. Oh, wait, nope, that's not the right block. Dang it. Okay, so the bridge is successfully back intact again. Um, so for this, what we're wanting to do is stay one block out. So like there, I think. But this will keep it level, sort of. Wait a minute, that's not quite level. It looks, looks like it should be level, but it's not level. Can we just walk up this, though? Yes, we can. Okay. So, what would happen if we were to make it this high? Could we walk back and forth then? This way, definitely. Okay, that works too. Alright, so we can make that work. So essentially... My frames are perfect if I'm looking right here, and if I look over there, now I'm down to 10. Here? 30. There. 10. No sense. No sense. This makes. Okay. I don't understand. Like, I get that the, the game is early alpha and stuff, and there's probably zero optimizations going on for... Voxel games can be very, very... Uh, CPU intensive because of all the math involved in keeping track of the voxel data. Um, so you kind of have to remember that kind of stuff when you're dealing with a voxel game going, you know, I can run uh, Witcher or Dragon Age or Crisis or something. Why is this giving me frame problems? Um, try and keep that in mind because that's kind of what's going on. Same thing with Minecraft. You know, you can... You can have a, a game like Minecraft that other next-gen games run perfectly fine, but then Minecraft gives you stutters and you're like, what the heck is going on? Um, 
Okay, let's do two here. Keep that away. I don't know what is going on over here, though, that one minute, like, micro-directional changes are causing severe frame lag, and I don't know why. That's a little bit odd. Um, let's do like this. Like so. And then I think we're going to put another peg, or another double peg, um, on this, just to make it look more like a deck kind of thing. I think that would look cool. Something like that. Uh, no idea how this is actually going to hold up. Oof! Oof. Ten to one, that doorway falls apart when we go into the normal mode. Okay, um, does this need to be here? Yes, it does, but we need to bump it up. Like that. There we go. Okay. Um, now, one other thing. We need to get rid of this. Because this is no longer the entrance into the place. Um, actually, we might want to keep that one right there. Maybe. That's good enough. Um... Now, here's where the interesting part comes into play. If we want to really work with this, I kind of want to do um, some voxel distortion, or terraforming, or whatever you would call it. I have no earthly clue how this is going to end up looking, or if I just make it look horrendous. The latter is probably more likely. But I'd like to kind of make a moat-ish thing. Uh, this is looking pretty bad. Let's go back to 1.5. We're going to have to put a few more blocks under this after we tear this out a bit. Um, I didn't really want to make like... Ooh, ooh, that's a little deeper of a moat than I was going for, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty bad. The voxel distortion just kind of goes all over the place. Um, it's not really that we're doing anything different. Like, you could probably be a bit more precise. I could have probably used a capsule instead of a sphere and made it a bit more tapered, and so on and so forth, but this works. Um, it's just, it's really rough where the edges are. It's very noticeable. It's not quite as uh, tapered as I would have liked. But it gets the point across that if there were water involved, this would be kind of a, a moat area that you wouldn't be able to access the castle from if the drawbridge is pulled up. Um, so let's place a few more blocks here and get this kind of secure. I guess is a good way to put it. That works. Um, need at least one there. Is that it? I think that's it. Now now. Uh, actually, you know what? Just for some decorative design, let's put this... Let's put a curve there. Uh, that works. Oh, 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 oh. This is just getting into some, like, detail work, right? Like, um... Just some... Actually, I don't know if this will work, because this is technically timber. This isn't wood. Yeah, it's not liking that. Okay. Okay, we won't do that then. Uh, what we can do... Oops, oh well. Uh, what we can do is this stuff. We can put railings for. Like so. Me and my ten frames here going, going strong. Um, ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I can use this. I can use this. I can use this. There we go. That works. Um... Can we do a corner there with that? No, that, I don't have enough room for that. So let's just do that. Um, not really that it matters that much at this point. We're just going to run this all the way over here. Kind of like uh, this is the end of your property. This is like the cities, I guess. I don't know. It just looks a little bit better than uh, just a straight walkway, I think. I like it. I like it. Um, now, just for a test, a little test, let's bring our drawbridge up. No guests allowed. Now, let's see. See, that looks like it's it's deep enough that if there were a moat, or if there were water there, I don't think anybody could think they could get in. Like, that's pretty secure. It's not like there's ground butted up right up against the drawbridge or something. Theoretically, yes, you could jump in and you could swim across over here and climb up this bank, you know, and, and tinker with the hinges or something. But, you know, let's be realistic here. We're just building for fun. Um, so, yeah. I think that works. I think it works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call this quits. We're going to say this is our finished small castle build. I'm going to take a screenshot and save it. And then we're going to turn on structural integrity and see how much of this thing falls apart. And whatever doesn't fall apart, we're going to break ourselves. Okay. I don't know how frame intensive this is going to get, but I already see a spot that fell apart. <laughs> oh, wait. There's another one. So this is interesting. I'm actually getting a high frame rate, but low frame updates by the looks of things. Oh, look at the roof! Oh, the roof is coming down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is interesting. I have 30 frames per second, but I can barely move. Oh, look at it. It's like uh, dominoes. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the whole roof caves in. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's so amazing. I love it. I love the destructible environments in this game. It's so awesome. Oh, look at that one. There goes the... Oh, okay, so all of my roofs were done horribly, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I'm scared to turn around and look at the house, too. The house is probably falling apart. <laughs> oh man. Um Huh. <laughs> well. Oh, wait, is that the side of a Why is that coming apart, I wonder? Here, let's turn on structural integrity mode and see what happens. Did I not turn those lights off? I thought I turned the lights off. I can't get the uh, integrity view to come up. Probably because it's in the middle of collapsing. I have to admit, I really expected a lot more to come crumbling down. Um, okay, let me pause just for a second and literally let the dust settle and see if I can't move around a little bit better. Oh, okay, so I turned around to look. And the tower's coming down. I'm sorry about the frame rate. It's bad, but I can't help it. This is hysterically awesome. I'm so glad I saved this. And turned off auto-saving. Oh, man. Oh, it's just all coming down. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to do much to this. This thing's coming down all on its own. I'm so oh, we got to check the floor, too. The floor was, like, going to collapse. Oh, look at it! Oh, I, I could just watch things destroy, get blown up in this game all day. I so want them to bring this destructible environment to Space Engineers. That would be amazing. I apologize for the frames. Technically, it's telling me I have a high frame rate, but I think it's lying. 
Um, because this is moving, like, at a crawl. So I really can't see there being a lot of frame rate. Now let's see... The house is, looks like it's fine. It's like the one thing that looks like it's okay. Wait, I might see a little bit of dust over there. It might be coming down. Oh, so bad. Oh, there goes the floor. Oh, no! Oh, there goes the floor! Oh, the thing's coming down. <laughs> oh, man. Just goes to show you, don't build a lot of stuff on top of a hollow floor. Oh, there I can move! I can move! Yay! Look at this thing of beauty. And by beauty, I mean the destructible environment engine. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. If you're gonna break something, this is how you do it. I love the stable. The stable's like the one thing that's fine. This... Busted. Totally busted. Um, how did that break? How did that railing right there break? I guess it's because of the... Um, I guess something fell off and hit it, maybe? Uh, does this no longer work? Oh, there it goes. Wait a minute, what the heck? I'm like stuck. Stop it. Stop riding a horse. What is going on? Dude, I am breaking this game. This game is broken for me right now. Um, there we go. That got him to stop. I just wanted to see if I could put the uh, door down. No? It went a minute ago. Come on. Go down. Go down. Oh, here we go. Let's just cut the wire. Uh, bloop. Oh, the deck is off balance. What? How did that happen? How did that happen? Something happened to the stone and then the timber fell apart. So the doorway kind of fell apart. Hey, look. Most everything is fine now except for that right there. Everything's not red, because it already fell apart. Um, let's check out what happened to you. Is it just this one spot? Nothing else? That's kind of weird. The rest of it seems fine. I just love how the rest of it seems fine. Like the king's palace or whatever up here. Totally fine. Other than the roof. The roof caved in a bit over here, I guess. Yeah. Roof caved in just a smidge. But like... If you were in the mess hall five seconds ago, you're dead. Like, the entire mess hall is gone. It's kind of awesome. Uh, this room looks fine. Relatively untouched. Uh, ooh, the barracks. Let's check out the barracks. Ooh, look at that! Roof fell in, caved in, rubble everywhere. What about this tower? Is this tower okay? Do we have a collapse in the tower? No? This one's fine? I can't get out the door? Oh, not fine. Though, I think this was because it was like tied into the... No, that was not tied into the roof. So that was just poor structural planning, I guess. Too weak to hold everything and it, cu it buckled, maybe? I don't know, but this is so awesome. Oh, and now... And I also found out I was going to use these, but watch the difference, because you got, whoop, blunk, what the, oh, that's cool, drop a cannonball, tower falls over, that's pretty great. So the difference here, let me see if I can look away for a second so that I don't get such a horrid frame rate. Um, is when you throw one of these normal ones, it's just like a normal cannonball projectile type thing. You're... Oh, we're getting it slow motion. Right? These other ones are ten times the mass. So you throw them, boom! It like, you know, just wrecks stuff. 
So I want to try and throw one on this roof. Boom! Oh my gosh, I could just have so much fun in this game breaking everything. I want to just download stuff and like do an inspiration series on medieval engineers and be like, wow, look how awesome this is. And then at the end, be like, okay, now we're just going to break everything. I'm going to break stuff. I shouldn't have done that with my computer the way that it is. It can barely handle all this madness. Ready? 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 Yeah. I don't know if I can... Did that just drop one back there? Or did it not count? Probably didn't count. Boom! Is that gonna bring the whole thing tumbling? Or is it just gonna poke a hole? Might just poke a hole. How's the, uh, integrity doing on that door? I remember that door was holding a lot of weight for a while there. Let's take it off its hands. Bam! No? I guess it's that central pillar holding everything up. Let's find out. <sighs> Yeah, there it goes. Really? Man, this tower was a lot more sturdy than the other one. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. You would think I'd be more distraught over how long this took to build. Oh, there it goes. It's all gonna come down now. Wait for it. Gosh, the frames are so bad. I'm waiting for it. I can see the walls bending and buckling. No? Really? One more? Run. One well placed shot to the corner here. I ought to give way in some capacity. Yeah, you would think that I'd be like, oh my gosh, my build is being destroyed. But I'm like, nope, autosave's off. Let's go to town. Oh, look at it. I love it. It's so realistic to the way everything would just crumble. Oh, there it goes. Slideshow, frame by frame. Oh, can we get it to fall onto the barracks? That would be awesome. I should have taken out the other wall. Oh, there it goes. Rubble onto the barracks. Aw, oh, come on, tower. You can do better than that. Ugh, I just... I can't do it. I can't move. So I think we're going to wrap things up here on that note. Uh, which is pretty great. Oh. Gotta take out the stable. Stable can't last. Oh, we gotta hit, we gotta hit the house. Boom. Alright, here we go. Let's drop one right through the center of the, of the roof. See if we can pull it off. I would like to point out, this house is doing fine. Until this. Boosh! Uh, where'd it go? Did it go all the way through? I want it to go all the way through the floor. That would be so awesome. No, I think it just went... Yeah, it just landed on the balcony. See, this we could actually do. Because it's not so massive that it's going to jag all of the frames terribly. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. I have way too much fun destroying things. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Support pillar. What the? There we go. Just bounced off. It was like, um, hello. Do your job. I want to make this balcony collapse. Pew! Wow! I cannot break this beam! There we go. Pew, pew. Okay. So there's that. How's everything holding up? Good. What if I do that? And that. Take that. And that. I should make this the thumbnail. That would be funny. Just like everything just tattered and destroyed. Alright. So, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. Let me know of ideas that you guys might want to see in the next build. Um, ugh, so gorgeous. 
Um, keep in mind, though, I can't really do anything bigger than this castle. Actually, I'd like to do a little bit smaller builds. Uh, because by the end here, this was getting pretty choppy. And although I wanted a village idea, I think I'm going to have to do separate worlds only because... Um, av having this whole castle and then trying to do something else would be pretty laggy overall. So I'm thinking of doing a, a new world. And then maybe doing a blueprint or something and pasting them all into one space and eventually releasing a world file, a uh, village file or something. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.